Welcome to I Have the Power Query. When you have an Excel problem that you need to solve quickly, this quick query. Excel is the sensible place for financial reports, but sometimes we get our reports as PDFs. When Excel opens those reports, you're left with lots of formatting to do. Power Query says no more formatting. This video is part of the Quick Query series. Check out the other videos in this playlist so you can start using Excel with power. I've received this report which has been grouped and formatted per bank. It's not going to be easy for me to work with this data as it is. Usually we define tables, but today I'm going to use a named range. A named range gives a collection of cells an easy to reference name. Highlight the data by pressing Ctrl and A until the whole range is selected. Come up to the A1 next to the formula bar and overtype the A1 with RNG Bank Import. Come up to Data, Get Data, From Other Sources and Blank Query. We're going to build this query from scratch. The Power Query Editor is opened and the blank query is expecting a data source. Type Excel.CurrentWorkbook and place an open and close bracket after it. Press Enter and Power Query returns this table, which are the data sources for import. Right now the only option is RNG Bank Import, but as we use the workbook we're likely to create more ranges and tables. To save problems later, click on the filter arrow next to Name, come to Text Filters, go to Equals and type RNG Bank Import. We don't need this column anymore, so remove it. Come up to the double diverging arrows, untick Use Original Column Name as Prefix, Click OK and we have loaded the data. We want to associate each loan with the bank that is making the loan. Come up to Add Column and Conditional Column. Name the new conditional column Bank Name. The condition is this. If column 1 equals Bank colon, note the capital letters and the colon, then the output, change it to Select a Column, is Column 3. So when Power Query comes across a row in column 1 that contains bank colon, it will output that bank's name. Otherwise it will return null. Any new column is placed at the end of the table. Click on the column, come up to Transform, Move and To Beginning. Then, also on Transform, click on Fill, then Down, and each loan now has its bank name next to it. Finish off the formatting by coming over to column 4 and filter out nulls. Under Home, use the first row as headers, which automatically tries to set the data types. Come back to column 4, now called Bank Loan Term, and filter out Bank Loan Term. This is from the header text of the other tables in the report. Finally, highlight all the columns. Come up to Detect Data Type, which does a better job now that it doesn't have to contend with all the other header rows. When I promoted the headers, it raised the top row to the header name including the first column. This column was called Bank Name, but the bank name, Bank On It, overwrote that column. Bank On It is at the top of the report, so if we get a report that doesn't start with Bank On It, we're going to have a problem. We'll fix that problem shortly, but for now, change its name to Bank Name. Come up to Home, Close and Load To, Load it as a table, to a new worksheet, and here's the cleanly formatted table. You've built your first power query from scratch. Are you brave enough to make a dynamic column reference to? Sure you are. We've had an updated report with a different bank name at the top. This has caused a problem. Come back into the power query by double clicking on the query in the queries and connections sidebar. Power query can't find the column called bank on it because it's no longer at the top of the report. Let's tidy up the steps. I don't need to change data types twice, so I'm going to remove the first one. Now click and drag renamed columns above change type 1. When you click on the step above, filtered rows 2, the error disappears. This means everything is working up until this step. Previously, bank on it was promoted as the column name, but now max bank constant has been because of the order of the banks on the report. Go to rename columns and come up to the formula bar. Replace bank on it with the following text. Table.columnNames is the function, hash quotes filtered rows 2 is the name of the previous step, and the number in the curly brackets is the column number. Power query counts from 0, not from 1, 
So the first column is numbered 0, the second column is numbered 1 and so on. Click the tick to accept the formula and the column name has changed. The next step is still looking for bank on it, so change it to bank name. Close and load and watch your dynamic query get updated with the new bank name. And that's a quick query, saving you boring reformatting time. You can build a query from scratch and you can write dynamic columns. If there's any quick queries you'd be interested in seeing, then leave a comment. In the meantime, don't forget to check out the Quick Query playlist to learn more about Power Query.